hi everyone so i come back with another tutorial this is question uh, six from tutorial sheet two yeah so for those that have not yet subscribed to the channel please kindly do so uh, so that you do not miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting uh from the oncoming tutorial sheets so the first question that we have here is uh, uh i mean the question the whole question is telling us to determine whether uh, these functions are even odd or neither so for you to determine these functions whether they are even odd or neither you follow the three conditions yeah we have the first condition is when you test it you you test it you you test it with f over negative x and then when you get your answer to be when you get your answer to be f of x when you get your answer to be f of x then this is even and then when you test it again with f of negative x and then you find your answer to be negative of f of x then that is odd that is an odd function and then if f of negative x is not equal to f of x again it's also not equal to negative f of x then the function is neither it's neither odd it's neither odd nor even it's neither odd nor even so these are the three conditions that are very important on this uh, part of the question so without these three conditions you cannot solve these questions yeah but you can also use inspection when you get used to what i'm when you when you just know this by heart you can use inspection so we can start with the first question there so you test it you find f of negative x from that question so meaning while there's x in this question we're going to put negative x so we have uh two while there's x we put negative x and then we raise it to power 4 then minus 4 and then we put negative x and then plus 5 like that so we solve this question so we're going to have uh, this uh, negative x raised to power 4 it will still be x to the power 4 so this will come back the way it is x to the power 4 But negative x times negative 4 there, you get positive 4x, which, and then you write your constant there, which is 5. So when you look at this expression there, this f of negative x, it's, it's, not, it's not the same as this. So meaning it's not equal to f of x. It's also not equal to uh, negative f of x. Therefore, the, fir the first function there is neither. It's neither odd nor even. So you can finish it up. So this one is neither odd nor even. So let's quickly move on to the next question. This one here. So this question, the next one here when you uh when you test it you discover that this one and that one they are not that much they are not very much different so when you test this one you discover that it's also neither even nor odd yeah so you can try to test it and see what i'm talking about let us now try this one i'll try this one 
the reason why i've not solved this one because i know it's just the same as this one there's no different the difference is very small so let us uh solve this one so this one here we test this one using negative using f of negative x so we put uh where there's x we put negative x so we're going to have five and then negative x there raised to power three minus four negative x like that so we write it that way so this one here when you when you r r negative x raised to power three you get negative five x raised to power three negative five x raised to power three then this one will get five i mean four x negative four times negative x there you get positive four x sorry this is supposed to be x okay so what follows there so here we can factor out the negative negative so when i factor out the negative i'm going to remain with uh when i factor out the negative i'm going to remain with 5x in the brackets there raised to power 3 then here instead of being a positive i'm going to remain with negative 4x so when you look at this 5x to the power 3 minus 4x it's just the same as that so meaning this the, that is equal to what so meaning this i'll write this negative outside i'll write it and then this part this part when you look at it, when, when you look at it it's just the same as f of x which is this part so i'll put my f of x there so when you look at this um uh this part what i was finding was uh f of negative x so in in conclusion you can say that f of negative x is equal to negative or f of x so when you look at this expression well, which condition is it fulfilling it's the second condition here which says f of negative x uh, is equal to negative f of x so meaning our function there will be uh, said to be odd so this one this function is odd this one it's an odd function okay let me see if i can also solve another one here so this one here saying uh, okay so this one you can uh, also test it this one is neither odd nor even how do i know that uh, i'll teach you the shortest method at the end of this lesson uh, the, the the way you can know just by inspecting it so let me do the last question here e so this one is neither odd nor even it's also the, just the same as this so let me do the last question f so we test that by putting f of negative x so f of negative x will be the square root negative root so this is going to be 9 minus while there is uh, x we put negative x and we raise it to power 2 so f of negative x there is giving us negative root of uh, 9 minus uh, negative x raised to power 2 is x power 2 so this when you look at this expression that uh, this side it has just gone back to the normal expression which is f of x it has gone back to f of x so this is x so in other words f of negative x has taken us back to what to f of x hence when you look at these conditions it's fulfilling this condition here on top which is a uh, even so meaning this function is an even function 
So now the question comes in, how can you solve this or how can you do this question just by inspection? Like I told you to say, I'm going to show you. So the way you can solve this by inspection is simple. Uh, you, you just do what, oh, sorry for that. Okay, it's simple. You just look at the powers. Let me just erase everything. You just look at the power so if you see all the powers let's say for instance you have x uh, to the power 4 uh, plus x to the power 2 this this uh, function is even why because uh, all the powers are even numbers okay but if I have x to the power 3 plus x this one is an odd function why because all the powers are odd but if I have x to the power 2 uh, plus x this one is neither odd nor even y because there's a combination of an even number and an odd number here which is power 1 so that is how you can tell just by inspection you can just look at the powers if you have all the powers even then it's an even function if all the powers are odd then it's an odd function but be careful with condition with uh, questions which are maybe like this to the power 3 and then maybe you have x this is x okay so which are like this and then this side maybe there's a constant maybe 5 you have a question which is like this. This one is neither odd nor even. Why do I say so? Here, our x is raised to power 0. Hence, 0 is an even number. It's not an odd number. Therefore, it's a mixture of uh, odd and even numbers. So you can test it. You can try to test this function. You discover that it's neither odd nor even. So thank you very much for watching today's tutorial video kindly subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting shalom shalom